What is going on Freedom Family? My name is Alex and I'm one of the founders of Zunix as well as a new addition to the game development division at Freedom and today I just want to be showcasing a game idea that I've had for a while now that is called Pirates and I just want your overall feedback and maybe some ideas as well for how we can push this project further. So as you can see the project is named Pirates right now that name is still a work in progress, but for now I'm just going to call the project Pirates. So the whole idea of this is to sort of have an open world survival game based in the pirate era. So it's going to be in the Unreal 4 engine and also going to be on Steam. Now I want this game to be similar to the game's Ark and Rust, so it's really going to have that whole open world sort of raiding gathering sort of style and that's really what I'm going for here you're going to be able to raid you're going to be able to build your own bases and then later on there's going to be sea combat that I really want uh, to implement at a later stage where you can make your own ships and also do stuff like that so as you can see on screen now we have the game development document that I've been working on still needs a lot of work but there's some basic stuff in here that I just wanted to show you guys that I've been working on. So you can see the genre is open world survival and early access. It is planned for first person and third person. You've got single player, multiplayer. The art style we're going for is really for that Ark and Rust style. So pretty realistic and really good graphics. Uh, we're aiming for mid to high end. Of course, we are going to make it so low end PCs can still play the game. But at the same time, we don't want to be making it look like Minecraft we really want it to be a really good game like Rust and Ark with high graphics. Uh, so you can see the servers that we're going to be offering, so we're going to have dev dedicated servers, we're going to have a few different server types as well as game modes. Uh, funding is currently self-funded by myself, I'm hoping Freedom can help out with it shortly if you guys like the idea of the game and then the plan is to kickstart it for additional support and then release the game into early access in a stable state and hopefully you guys can jump in and test it at that stage. So if we scroll down, you can see that we have some core concepts. We have our gathering, which I mentioned before, so players will just go around the island gathering different resources and supplies. Of course, some of these will require tools, so like pickaxes, hatchets, and there'll be some other tools that you'll need to gather certain things. Cruise is also planned for this as well, so just it's just a generic tribe sort of thing, I guess, where you can invite your friends in, they can play with you, they have access to everything that you build, an easy way to do that. So under that we have caves, so this is sort of the exploration sort of side of things. You get, there's going to be caves located all around the map, you're going to be able to go into them and explore, and there will be some loot in there. I'm also planning on adding some cursed caves, which I'll talk about later, but they will be quite interesting. Uh, wreckages and ruins, so these are sort of where you'll find some early loot. So along the coastline I'm planning on having a few wrecked ships, and maybe some little wrecked boats and stuff like that that you'll be able to get some early loot from and that you'll be able to explore which I think will be pretty cool and then more inland I want some sort of like ruins where you'll be able to explore and also get some higher tier loot in those as well. Moving on to the loot, I'm going to be putting loot in the treasure chest so the plan is to have a few treasure chests around the map where you can open them and then some of the higher tier ones I was thinking uh, we can make it so they're actually locked and you need to get a key which can only be found in some of the lower tier ones which I think would be pretty cool and there'd also be some barrels and some just normal boxes and stuff around the map that you'd be able to get some loot from uh, building so players will be able to build their own bases ships is something that I'm going to leave and probably until last maybe not even at launch because I really want to focus on the whole island sort of building first because ships is going to be a really big addition to it if you do live on the coast, that is, then you'll have to defend from the sea as well as the land. But for now, we're just going to focus on land building and then bring in the ships later. So there's going to be three main tiers. Still working on these, but so far we've got wood, stone and stone brick. I'm trying to think of the best tiers to do to sort of fit in with the pirate era. But for now, those three are the ones that I have planned. Raiding, of course, raiding is going to be a big part of the game as it is in any open world survival game. You're going to be able to make black powder, which is gunpowder. Pirates used to call it black powder. And it's going to be used in cannonballs and other raiding tools. And the cannonballs are going to, of course, be used in the cannons. So you're going to be able to fire cannons at enemy structures in order to break them down and, of course, raid them. XP and crafting. So there will be an XP system to unlock new craftable items. The plan is to sort of have it like a talent tree sort of thing, where you'll have to unlock the previous thing before it, before you get the next thing. So 
if you're going for a metal hatchet, then you'll need to unlock the stone hatchet before it, and there'll be like a talent tree, sort of like that. And that's the plan moving forward. I've got some music planned there. That's not set in stone, that's just some music I thought was pretty cool. Here are some concepts of the game, of what I think would look pretty cool on the island. I really want it to be a game where exploration is a really big part of it. Of course, raiding and the whole open world survival is a big part of it as well. But at the same time, I want the island to look really nice and I want people to be able to explore and really go wow when they spawn into this world. So you can see some caves in there as well. Some cave concepts that I think would be pretty cool. You got a beach line there. So I thought that was, those were pretty cool and they would suit the game well. So here are some core cool items that I've been working on. I actually do have some of these in game which I'll show right now on screen. So far we have a homemade bow, a metal hatchet, and also we've got some hands as well. And most of these have animations, they're still being worked on though. But the plan is to change the hands a bit. I really want to make them a lot more pirate-like, so sort of scruff up the nails and maybe put some tattoos or something on the arms to sort of make it look more like a pirate arm. So we are in the process of doing that currently, but for now you can see some very, very early work that we have now. And of course, this island that we're currently working with, the demo, this is not going to be the final one. This is just sort of a demo just to show you guys some animations and some of the items we've already worked on. So here are the items that we want in the game. There is going to be more, of course, later on, but these are the ones that I have so far and sort of fit in with that pirate era. You've got melee weapons, ranged ammo, so you've got all the generic stuff like the bows, uh, the crossbows, all the stuff like that. Of course, the flintlock pistols and muskets, I think they're going to be really good. They're going to be very hard to make, but once they're in game, I think they're going to look absolutely amazing. And then you've got the cutlass sword and a lot of the generic survival tools there as well. And then you've got the raiding stuff, uh, which is the cannon. You've got the Granado Grenade, which is like a little grenade, which is going to be used for raiding as well, as well as explosive barrels. Now, explosive barrels, I think, are really cool because my plan for them is I want you to sort of carry a barrel around and sort of roll it into enemy bases, and that'll blow up their walls and stuff like that. So I think that idea is pretty cool, and I really can't wait to get that modeled and actually have it working in-game. So I've done a bit of structures as well, worked on what the plans are, these are the three tiers at the moment. We may implement more tiers later on, but for now I only have these three. So yeah, I've got some concept images there, sort of what I want them to look like. If we go down, ships will be out of the later stage. I spoke about this before. I don't really want ships in the first release of the game because I feel like it's going to be a really big thing, implementing the whole sea combat. And then we've got some more items here. As you can see, uh, black powder, metal wood clothes, I'm still working on a lot of this stuff. Possible features, so this is stuff that we'd add at a later stage. So one of the last pages I have is the UI concept. I have so far made a menu as well as an inventory concept. These are not set in stone as of yet. These are just some designs that I came up with, which I think look pretty cool. And definitely let me know what you guys think of these uh, concepts down below, because of course these will likely change quite a lot. It's just only one design that I came up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave some comments down below and feedback. Even if you have any of your own ideas that you think would make a good addition to the game, that would be extremely useful. Even let me know if you don't like the idea. Let me know if you like it or dislike it. Um, any feedback is appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central. 
home of The George Show. Click the Freedom Family plus one video to see I'm having a new baby number four. And the $60 million video to see the $60 million coming to Freedom to help you grow.